phone, nothing. I need Ooh, the internet. Just give me internet. That's it. <laughs> hey guys, if you have only the internet, and nothing else. How do you access the internet? Damn, bars. You woke woke o today. All right. All right, we're gonna restart the episode. We still don't know what episode it is. It's uh, eighty-seven. Woko's got it. I'm John D. Contradiction. We got M in the building, and we got my man Woko with the coma. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna run through that real quick. But um, so we started off the week with a nice big old fat red stamp for you, WLP. This first project was focused by coincide. Um, yeah, I mean it was okay. Yeah, but you gave it a red stamp. <laughs> Hey man, I was in a mood. <laughs> it's he one of those. I haven't, I haven't reviewed music in forever, so he had just caught me reviewing music <laughs> in a terrible mood. It may have been better, but he got he caught the red stamp. That's yeah, the... that's the risk that you run when Mark reviews music. <laughs> he's in the You're red. Dice. He's in the red room right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Mark just like rolls some dice right before he does a review. Oh yeah, I do, just like that. And just based off of how the roll goes, he's either upset or not. Yep. Snake eyes. This fucker's getting a red stamp. It's a, it's a wrap. No, that is, that is, the thing is, is, the only one people that get green checks are sixes. So everybody else is a red stamp. So they're literally running the risk every single time. That is true. This project I didn't so, hate. This probably would have got a lemon from me. Eh. Yeah. 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 I'm about the same. It depends on my mood. Probably like around the lemon thing. The, the second yeah, half was definitely better I than the first. Wanted, I just wanted the second two tracks the whole time. The last two tracks the whole time. Yeah, they were great. I was like, oh, you're rapping? Oh, look, you're doing that little singy thing? That's tight. But it's actually it, like, good. Yeah, it was... It was. He had. Oh, um, yeah, it was Edge of Lemon. He had a few uh, first-time rapper-isms where you know, yeah. it just didn't sound too comfortable. Yeah, the first couple songs were definitely a like, lot of that. You know. Yeah, he was kind of... He kind of had, like, the G Herbo effect. The pocket was here and the beat was over here. So, you speaking know of I mean? that, he just dropped something again Friday. And, and he's, all, he's on beat everyone's t- He's on beat again. Everyone's telling me it's good. Yeah, I, I won't listen to it. That's what I I'm saying. I don't believe anybody, but, like, people are nope. literally throwing it in my face. Like, nah, this is the best shit he's ever released. And I'm like, that's not saying a lot, but... No. Okay, I right, good. I don't know. I didn't listen to it. I don't know if anybody. But I, I mean, like, I come know. come on, guys. His his best song is "Bust Down Tatiana." Like, come on. And it's not a good song. And it's not good. Is that his song? Yeah, that's Blueface, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Same. They person. both rap. They both can't rap on. They both either, just so. decided to rap on. Beat, but <laughs> anyway, yeah. so the next project. Oh my God, this is "Dust to Dust" by Mav. Ugh. Ooh. Yeah, Uncle Matt. <laughs> Yo. I actually have this on CD and I didn't know that. <laughs> nice. I uh I had bought it from him and then it came in and I was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. So this fucking album is disgusting. <laughs> yes, it is. It it's makes so uh, it makes dark. all the white people in my neighborhood very uncomfortable. It's so dark. Love it. Dude. Like the gritting, just the sound of it is just like this. Doesn't it make you want to just glare at people? <laughs> Yo. Just no, it makes one, people want to go. He makes going people glare this, at me. When I was going through this, I was at the gym, just mean mugging people, mm. just just yoking shit up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just angry, <laughs> just at LA just fitness. Locking eyes with people while you're pressing weights. Oh my god, had people in there very uncomfortable. I was like, this is what I'm talking about. This is that shit, but I fuck with this. This is heavy, bro. You know, I fucking love Mav. And what's crazy is there's no rigs on here. Nah, it's an older no project though. Yeah, but it's dude, Daniel Son, Smooth, like everyone did their the mm-hmm. two dudes did their thing. But this, this I is... I really want to go to Family Affair, Johnny. Yo, I really want to go to Family Affair. The lineup is the lineup is fucking. It's very intense. It's, it's not like yeah. I. Mm, mm. I don't blame you. I I'm, I'm thinking about it. Wild uh, shit. Very wild shit. But yeah, that Mav project, yo, seriously, dust to dust by Mav. Listen to it. It is aggressive. It's straight to the point. It's not that long. Mav is underrated. Fire. He's so underrated. He's fire. He Very can rap. Fire. He could probably rap most of your favorite rappers under the table easy. Oh, absolutely. Especially story wise. Oh. And he's got that cold voice, yeah, bro. His voice is cold, bro. They all have cold voices. What yes. Uh huh. I mean, well, it's, it's, it's all that. I don't know if I would say Rob Gates' voice is cold, but it's, it's Rob Gates is wild. wild. I just it's, uh, wild it's, aggressive. It's all the alkaline water that they drink. It messes with their vocal yo, cords. Yeah, eating sure all them grapes on batteries. Huh? <laughs> I'm sure Rob, I'm Dude, sure. I'm 
fixed on batteries. I'm so Dude. pissed. Every time I go buy their merch, it sells out in four seconds. I believe this. Every time. I just did. Um, I just actually did Rob Gates' new project, and the name of the project is Rob. Like, get robbed. Like, that's yeah. the name. Of it. I'm like, yeah. this is wild. He's got a song called Pistol on My Lap. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wild dude <laughs> they're wild just a wild team but um so this next project was uh four ep by ethan ross wasn't bad a little smooth little 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 smooth little jimmy jam here as i was listening to this i had on the line today my line cook looked at me and he said maricon turn this off so <laughs> that was that was that was my live action my, red stand that was my lot my line cook's reaction i on the other hand enjoyed this so <laughs> Because it's soft. It's 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 He's like what the fuck is this? <laughs> no, he looked at me. No, literally word for word, Mari Kong turned this off. It's like, it's, no it's, it's new age stuff, but it's super safe. It's yeah. safe, clean new age stuff. So I was like, it's ah, nice. Yeah, it's a little smooth little thing thing. I he looks like Adam Adam that the Arab on I miss I, I miss Adam. I do. He like got new pets and like posts them in his story. Uh, he has that him. lemon gecko right now that I'm trying to rob. <laughs> <Those things are cool. laughs> He's a wild dude. I don't know. Yeah, I got to hit him up, DJ Adam. He's but, still um, doing his radio show. Yeah, I love that. Get it, get it. I got to visit him sometime. But this um this project is cool, man. This is is exactly what I said. It is the shit you do hookah to, man. This is just one of those projects. Yeah, can, yeah right. absolutely. This is one of those projects, man. You look cool. You take a few snaps of your story to show to the same people that know you're doing hookah. You know, usual shit. I'm not mad at it. Do so, people still smoke hookah? I think. We used to a lot. I know, but that was then. I'm talking about now. <laughs> like, what, like, let's roll, like, 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 I feel I like it's like, cooler what? now. We used to go to the hookah lounge so much that the owner knew us by name. <laughs> yeah. And would, like, give us free shit. <laughs> Nice. Let us stay late. Free flavors and shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Toss nice. an extra coal. Nice. I'm not mad at that. I've never been into the. I've been hooked a few times, but I've never been into it. No, there was like a there was like it's a super silly. Thing. No, there, there was literally yeah. like a year time where like I was there every night. Yeah, there was like a it was right down like, the block from us. There was like a group of like 20, 25 of us. They were <laughs> always there. So I actually have a weird. The reason I don't like it is because one person. Like you know how they do like, nope. they do the separate thing and all that stuff, but mm-hmm. like this the place that I remember going to, it really wasn't like that. And people were just like putting their mouths on it, and oh. I just thought like, what if one person has like? Nah, we used to all have our so own. What if, what if one of them has coronavirus? Oh, I'm sorry, too soon. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hopefully, it takes out everyone. Nah, we used to all have our own little plastic tips. Yeah, you need it. But well, we yeah. all have our own hose because we're not. Fucking- yeah, exactly, and we're not broke boys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's share a hookah hose. Guys are just disgusting. We get the stuff. four hose Yo, joint. Eichmann's a weird ass place, bro. I've seen that. I've seen four of the hood. This nigga's sitting there sharing the same hookah hose. That's not yeah. hood. <laughs> yeah. That's weird, bro. Real, real, real niggas share mouth diseases. That's weird yeah. shit. That's, that's hey, You don't kiss your homies on the mouth? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Facts. Mwah. <laughs> what up? Love you. What up, killer? Mwah. Mwah. Gangster. That's so sus. <laughs> Yo, okay, before we go on, did y'all see that the OnlyFans database was leaked? Oh, yeah. JP, oh, of all people, JP sent it to us. Sent, sent it to me. And I was dying. Yeah, nah, that link he sent is dead. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know. But, <laughs> you know I mean, if, y'all, if y'all need the link, I got it. Hey, you know, I just want to see how man, many yeah. my friends are on Okay. <laughs> So it's to the point where it's like it's everybody, but it's categorized. So if like you click on this person, it has their. It's like whoever took the time to do this did it right. So shout out to the hackers. I don't want any smoke. <laughs> Love that yeah, I don't saving think people money. <laughs> because OnlyFans reported that their date that their shit no, was. but was, it's was, like, okay. I think it was people bought paid accounts. So think like about they crowdfunded we're, it we're gonna, and then collected it. We're going to think about this in a mixtape sense. So now the the mixtape is leaked. So people will see it. Maybe people will go buy it more. That's absolutely what's going to happen because guess what? They're going to continue to make new content. Absolutely. These hoes need to get but paid. Now, now, but see, the thing is, now the, people, now the hustlers, like the, the baddies who don't actually get naked on it, who just hustle people, they have to step their game up. Because now if yeah. people know that the content they're out here nope. selling is you trash. Know, you know, what, like, shit. You know yeah. what I, I've noticed throughout the years? You know how hoes are out all, used to be out all seasons? They Excuse me, they're sex workers? Hoes. <laughs> 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 they don't they don't be coming out in the winter anymore so y'all ain't shit anymore yeah. 
Just because y'all have a phone, y'all need Sad to be out of line hustling. Listen, all you got to do is have a fat ass and an internet connection. Facts. You don't even have to have That's a it. face. And you made yeah, it. You just got to have yeeks. That's it. Yeah. Okay. We can, we can, like I said, Let's I'm get here back to but Yeah. But yeah, for people out there, just Google it. You'll find it. Thank us later. Thank Mark later. And JP well, for sending it to us. <laughs> but um, this next project was um, Courtier by Lonnie X. Uh, my kitchen workers approved of this, this and so did I. Also, yeah, this is fire. Yeah. Smooth. It was a vibe. But he was rapping, which I also liked. And it just puts you in a zone. Yeah. Oh, the production was fucking heat, man. It was honestly, it was really, really cool. Like, it reminded me of like old school. I even put like old school watching skate video days, like backpacker, like, you know, but in the skater generation days type shit. It was super fly, bro. I was really into it. I was like, this is what I like to hear, man. Front to back, I was like, I couldn't. I bumped it a couple times. I did the review while listening to it again, and I was like, yo, I'm very much, very much here for this fucking project. It's very smooth, and he can rap. You need that. This guy, man, with his snapshots. <laughs> he's trying. He's really trying to catch all my emotions. <laughs> he was. Dude, I don't, no, I, Happy I, Mark I don't was the best. You've got several so far. <laughs> I have three. Happy Mark was yeah. the best. But um, so this was cool. <laughs> and we true. posted uh one of the videos that uh Self Savior hit us up. We dropped our interview with Self Savior. It's dope. Check it out. All podcasting, YouTube, all that good stuff. Him rapping, looking all stiff and stuff on Triller. I'm ne- I never. Found what is tr- not- what is Triller? Another video app, kind of like InShot. Yeah. What you can share stuff. I see people post. I, yeah, isn't it like a InShot like TikTok? Can people like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like you can kind of make like music videos and shit. Yeah, bunch of edits I see. Stuff. Yeah, I see a couple people use it, but yeah, he's using it. So, go okay. ahead, self savior. So this next project, I didn't realize the amount of people were gonna come at us loving this, <coughs> but it was uh to uh to Tanesha by Vibes Cartel, the old legend Badman. Mad people. I didn't know people still rocked with him. I thought people stopped rocking with him when he bleached his skin. No. <laughs> nah, there's, there's I mean, always going to be I mean, fans. If Sammy Sosa can get away with it, anybody. Can. Sammy Sosa out here looking like a bottle of Pepto Bismol. Dude, when he first started doing that, I had a nightmare about it. Really? Yeah, I had a nightmare about Sammy Sosa, and I thought it was the best shit ever. Like, the next day, I was like, that's the wildest thing to have a nightmare about. It's fucking white Sammy Sosa coming after me. It was fucking weird. Uh, <laughs> it was very yeah, for weird. real, he looks like a go- he looks like a fucking ghoul, bro. I would not want to see him on the street. Blue eyes, everything. Scary, scary <laughs> guy. But um, this project's cool. It's very clean. It's very consistent. But um, it's right. It's not bad. But it's gets a little too bubblegum for me. You know? <laughs> it's a little too bubblegum. But the music's good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Is that does that grab a girl and yuck her into a tree type shit? <laughs> I didn't hate it. I, I couldn't I couldn't hate it for some reason. I was like, it's clean, it sounds like well put together music, but I, mean, I, I did know that it wasn't it a little. Yeah. I just knew it wasn't all for me. Exactly. You I'm know? not out I'm not out there jumping off a None of this <laughs> was for me. So <laughs> this yeah, guy doesn't like me. no bubble gum. Mark's got there. no flavor. <laughs> <laughs> no bubble gum. Red room mark. And, and, yeah, unless you're what's it called? Unless you're talking about guns or cocaine, I'm really not about it at this point. <laughs> so Oh man. So <laughs> goofy, So the next project was uh um... You did this. <laughs> was Big Conspiracy by Jay Huss. I was here for this project. This project was Well, a it good literally time. it's a, it's the name of your podcast that you want to start, Big Conspiracy. So. All of the conspiracies. Honestly, I can't now because fucking <laughs> one of the projects we're going to get to because Royce literally touched on every single fucking thing that I would want to talk <laughs> about on it his The whole god. But anyways, <laughs> this project was so good. I really like this, and the fact that he ended this smooth ass project by snapping, I was like, I'm fucking all for that kind of pacing. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is a good fucking time. The production was smooth. He was doing his thing. All the produ- all the fucking features came on there to do their thing, and it was just nice, man. It was a well put together project. Yeah, man. For yeah. Thirteen tracks. It, it made sense. It, it was too long. It was. The, it was like a I, it, you could tell there was thought put into it because the way the songs progress. Yeah, it was very like cohesive. there's a good tempo. 
facts and then he's just like i'm finna black out this last song and get stupid. i mean i feel like everybody who does that who has a project like that should have that track in there though <laughs> yeah, i like, like a, that it's at the end it's your, usually it's your caboose. the beginning or like middle dead end like right at the end of this oh i'm rapping like i love it i'm fucking i think you should start it. hot and you should end hot <laughs> yeah but like yeah. your, your intro track should be just bars yeah. And then your in, your in track should be just fucking spazzing out yeah, again. Just lose your mind. I'm not mad at it. This is a part this is a two. Very, very good project. I was I was delightfully surprised. I was like, this is a good time, man. It was a lot of a lot of replay value for sure, this whole project. So it's one of those. You're looking to get your replay loop on, live it up. Then we have more self savior stuff, you know, with the moving pictures looking fancy. I see you. You sent me all that material quick too. Salute to people who are who cares? They actually know. Yeah, who knows what they're doing? Yeah, yeah that's nice. Who care? So, um, this next project was, um, was this uh, Coma by Rich Homie Kwan? It's Rich Homie Kwan. What Bro, uh, I don't. Know. Were you were you hitting the? No, nah, I like this start... project. I like Rich Homie Kwan. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it was not <laughs> as good as you were making it sound. What do you mean? What you said you five. came in the DMs talking about like, oh. No, no, no. I said he's he hasn't put out anything bad. And he has it. His last project was better than this, but it's still good. Yeah. I didn't. It's all right. It's good. I don't like his. I really don't like his voice. I like his voice. I think that's what uh, it is. But he was one of the first people that did this. He ain't really saying shit either. He's having a good time. It's He's not talking music. about guns or cocaine. So well, sometimes he talks about. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes Sorry. you just gotta. You just gotta listen. You might hear it when he's you know mumbling really fast. But I don't know. It's it's one of those things where he was one of the first people that did this. So I always liked his sound when he first started doing it, and he's still doing it. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mm. mad at it. He's not like he's not doing extra shit to try to capture to it. I'm here for it. I was cool with it. It's very mainstream. Oh, this guy with his fucking screenshots again. <laughs> but it's very, it's fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh man, but it's like, my pictures in the fucking thing. Oh the, yeah, oh, had yeah. so many photos. Like, so this many is this is still someone else's it. room, chat room, which makes this even better. <laughs> yeah, this is so from the interviewer sent us the video, so we it. jumped in. Yeah, we're still technically in it. Like they could see all this, which makes it even That's funnier. But God <laughs> damn. so, but anyways, this project I thought it was solid. I didn't hate it. I actually enjoyed it a little bit. It's catchy. It's music drive shit. You know, this next mm-hmm. project I absolutely fucking hated. This shit. The next project was Rufus by Bizarre. How bizarre! <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, yeah. this shit is oh this is, my fucking god! I spent I spent about fourteen <laughs> seconds on this project and yeah. I was not pleased, dude. And you would have had an hour so <laughs> and fifteen minutes long. plus fourteen seconds to go. This no, like I couldn't like imagine the kitchen workers. I would have got stabbed. Oh my god! It how is bizarre. so wild, bizarre. It's like anytime something good was going on. He would ruin it with How like Hobson because he's still working off that D12 fucking heat. That's what it is. Just imagine all the the remember you like we love D12 and how bizarre would come in and say some ridiculous shit, but he was surrounded by so much fire that you enjoyed it. Yeah. This is yeah. all of that it's ridiculous like shit with out. no fire, with no fire around it, none. Yeah, exactly. And it is just rough. And it was sad as like there was a few songs where I was like, "Oh man, Bizarre's doing something," and then he would auto tune the hook, and I'm just like, "Dude, <sighs> you know what? Rough. Bizarre, Bizarre is only rapping because of D12. So we can actually blame D12 for this." <laughs> <laughs> he needed them and you know what <laughs> imagine yo you know what it really is this is like some shit that happens in hollywood where you'll see a movie and there's a comic relief who's only good this is this is the kevin it's hart bizarre. theory this is the kevin hart theory anytime there's a movie and kevin hart was comic relief you're like oh man he's great comic relief and then they start giving him full movies and you're like yeah. why are they doing yeah. this what, wasn't there a movie where he was pushing somebody in a wheelchair the entire time <laughs> <laughs> Probably. What? That's, Probably. Yeah, that was actually a really good movie. Is that the okay. serious one though? Well, That's the one with well, Brian Can- Cranston, isn't it? But, yeah. But regardless, I cannot look at Kevin Hart seriously. <laughs> like, oh, he's pushing me around it again. I'm like, get your oh, little see, ass. I mean, I'm talking about just straight like, let's just give Kevin Hart comedies by himself, and they're never good. Ever. Has he had a comedy by himself? Close he's enough where he's trying to lead them. Rock. 
No, that's now, but he had movies where he was trying with other people. Let's just say this is this is that movie with him and Tiffany Haddish at school. Ugh. <laughs> that movie was terrible. Seen that one. It's not good. Oh, it's awful. Do yourself a solid. Never watch it. <laughs> gotcha. Ever. Don't even think about it. It doesn't exist. But yeah, this project is trash, bro. Like, come on, Bizarre. You've been fucking rapping way too long. I think he just needs to hang it up. Yo. Uh. He's been he's I think this album had to come out because he was just like milking all the poor like team backpack kids and all that stuff for their features and all nah you know what it you know what it is Royce took all the energy out of Detroit so nobody knows how to <laughs> rap more <laughs> hey don't disrespect you know, Ty Farris heard that he's gonna have a Facebook status ready for <laughs> <Bang. him. laughs> your yeah, like, status don't Facebook. respect me he talk about Detroit they talk about me but um <laughs> speaking Royce of smoky. more Detroit. <laughs> The Allegory by Royce to Five Nine. This shit was. This is this is the uh, this is probably the best body of work I've heard in the last three or four years. It is wild. I like that he was using my homeboy with the tatted face and his kids putting the guns together and all that as his fucking clips. I was here for that. Very much here for that. It's like Everybody, what's a friend that offers nothing and all of that. It's like, oh, dude, that whole shit. I was like, yeah, it's the shit that I got to plant in little little goat's brain. It's it's almost unreal every time you listen to it. You're kind of like you're overwhelmed. Like, the fact what? that like he produced this too is crazy to me because it's like, yo, one let's let's discuss some of the comments here. We had <laughs> this one blew up, but you guys remember that. Um, uh, what's his name? Fucking oh, so Mr. Juice, our man who still owes us stuff from a year and a half ago. Bastard. So he comes on. He goes, lyricism was great. I thought the production was pretty bland. I'm like, what? What? Okay, all right. So from a producer standpoint, every producer has a sound. Yeah. Every producer has the same three or four drum breaks that they use. Every single song on this album is different. Yeah. How can you tell me that this is bland? And then what, you- but this is where it gets even crazier. So then he goes... There was the beats were boring. They sound like half finished alchemist beats. A half finished alchemist beat is fire, probably. <laughs> yeah, don't disrespect. Yeah, I, I don't know what he's talking about. And then some dude <laughs> came on here like, no, nah, they sound nothing like alchemist beats. And then he's like, Yeah, they do. What's wrong with your ears? And they're just going back and forth. But I'm like, Actually, Okay, so if they sound like anybody's beats, they sound like Premier's beats because when this was going on, Premier was in the studio or on FaceTime with him, teaching him how to do these things. Mm. Honestly, so they sound I like couldn't Primo even beats. put a finger on how oh, who they sound they, like. They sound like Primo. You beats think so? Just because, just because of the sample selection and drum selection used in progressions, mm. it is very. I, don't know. I didn't. I didn't hear. It, it I didn't may hear not that. sound the Primo like the that up here, but it's very Primo influence. I, I heard a, a bit of um. To me, it sounded like a lot of like um. A lot of like when Ninth does serious type stuff, like remember like the intro to Rhapsodies. It's it's like very big open. Like whenever, yeah. Because like we all know how Ninth sounds, but whenever Ninth has like an artist that he really rocks with, they always have like one super <coughs> song. This mm-hmm. sounded like that kind of thing, like where it would be like a long drawn out sample, and then slowly they would add little pieces to it. But it was always like a very drawn out sample. It had like that kind of vibe. But um, <laughs> the beats were fire. Dude, I. From front to back, the whole the the project the project itself as a whole is a masterpiece. masterpiece. I don't give a fuck with nobody. Any people hated it. Yes, Fantano gave it a six. Yep. What I'm like, what was he listening to? Like, not only was Royce punching his the fucking mind out. But he had his conspiracies, which I loved. He made me go on Google three times the whole project because he told me to Google something, and I was like, "Oh shit, that's fire." The pacing was nuts. Royce is not okay for us, the people who listen to rap. I know Fantana listens to rap, whatever. I don't like him. I never have. Mm. But people don't appreciate Royce and what just happens, especially after Book of Ryan. Like people still masterpiece. But the thing is, but people don't. But people still don't appreciate Book of Ryan. How do you expect them to appreciate this? It's crazy because this is like his Kendrick release. Technically slept on. He literally, he literally said everything about his life on Book of Ryan. Yeah. He he changed the game with this one. Yeah. And what's crazy is like th- that's why I was like, this is. His... I think he mentions regrets about Book of Ryan on. He has book. all yeah. the regrets of Book of Ryan, and I understand why. Dude. He literally poured he his heart out, and imagine just being pouring your heart out on a project and have nothing and to write. 
no, yeah, no one fucking giving you love. It's crazy. And then with this, he went the complete other way and did it right. He, this is like a Kendrick project. It was musical. It was had radio stuff, and it had all the features that we would want to hear, which. All the Griselda Con- features, fuck. Conway is out here eating all the. Honestly, food. that Conway was fucking sick. That song was fire, but that the 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 West Side Gun Son, I gave it a diamond. Not even off the strength of like the beat and everything Roy said in that song, I was fucking blown away. Like, and I they love comp- West Side did his com- thing. They, they complement each other very. But well. I could have easily erased him from it and still yeah. gave it. A, it would have double diamonded it because uh, Roy snapped. <laughs> and he did, but honestly, and then oh my god, Dal Shal, him and his brother, that's my favorite song on here because I want to fight people when I listen to it. This nigga Royce prayed and apologized before punching that song to death. Fact. Yeah, yeah. Hard. He said he said I'm sorry. <laughs> Hard. And and went on a fucking like that shit extended and then, and arms like, out the he, car like i'm trying to borrow some great coupon <laughs> i was like i'm old <laughs> i was like i get it i'm old <laughs> but like i just i hate people yeah and he wears that goat ring for a reason and then people try to say that the, the other criticism that i heard was there was too many conspiracies what, what? let him what? rap if Who i cares? had to if i had to personally if I had to pick out something that Royce does that I don't always like, is sometimes he rushes punches. Yes, because he, he, he's trying to fit so many words. Yes. And yeah, sometimes like, it works. Like, sometimes like it's, it's very audible, but it's, he doesn't do it the whole song. It's like he'll give a sixteen and he'll give you eighty-two bars in that sixteen, and people don't <laughs> yeah. get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's my only thing that he does sometimes and I wish that could be a little cleaner and it'll fit. That's the thing that makes it difficult to judge. It'll fit, but it just sounds very very weird sometimes. Not always, sometimes it works, but that's my only small thing, but it's not enough to fucking take away the the, the weight of the shit he's saying, <laughs> you know, and like what's going on. This project I loved it. I loved this once you hit the middle of it, everything was fucking me up. Bro, like after the like, okay, I feel like you have to be mentally educated to to appreciate <laughs> this album. No, Don't seriously, be stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like the Rick and Morty of music. <laughs> because like just off the first track when he when he's speaking to his kid, like if you don't understand what that's happening, you're not turn the album off. Yeah, turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. Seriously. He's talking about he's talking about his kid having financial independence before you know like come wild, on wild wild trash wild. yo oh People's this is so got- this is the shit I was talking well, I, I mentioned in our interview earlier Sci High broke my heart with one of the saddest verses not sad as in bad but the shit he was saying was so heartbreaking on his feature on here he was talking about how he's been nice his whole career and how he is not up there and not making money like that for being this nice and it because broke it- my soul. Well, we're, I'm still waiting on a new Sci High project because No but Dope on his, Sundays. All of his projects have been fantastic. fire. All of but his no he's dope, never put out. But No Dope on Sundays is different. I, I, Sci High never let me down. You're right. He's never put but, out a body of but, work that I was like, but, Meh, I love everything. But he puts due out. to his situation on good music and him being under the Kanye thumb, he should be rich. He, he, but he'll never be rich. He has to get out of That's that. Crazy. He has to get out of the Def Jam good yeah. music thing. Yeah. For him to be even mildly successful, because yeah. he's nice. He's, he's nice, nice, super nice, mm-hmm. too nice. Yeah. The fact yeah, that no. him and Ti were snapping on that song together, Ti was snapping too. Snapping. What is that all about? Snapping. What was the fuck? He's still, he's still hip hop's uncle, guys. Don't disrespect. Oh, he's him. always been nice. He's the, the fact mayor. That my man hip-hop. Royce made Vince Staples rap again. Thank you. Really rap though. Thank you. I appreciate that. That was heat. And fucking, um, yo, we got to hear something that's been a part of people's debates forever. We got to hear Crooked and Royce spar. And it felt good. They were trying to kill each other on that track. And <laughs> I is, loved it. Crooked is, an, Crooked is an alien. Oh, yeah. He's a monster. Yeah. He's an alien, and it's scary. An alien that loves human cigars. But, um, Facts. yeah, this project, we talked about it enough because <laughs> it's that good. Listen to it. Not a game. Not a fucking game. Next project, uh, The Price of Tea in China by Boldy James. I love this project, too. I like Boldy James. I'm a fan. Shout out to Alchemist. Yeah, I'm a fan. <laughs> I am a fan of Boldy James. These guys didn't like his last project, and I don't understand why. And I, I didn't like his last one, but this one was nice. 
I, I love, love Goldie James. I love his voice. I love the way Thank he raps. Thank you. Thank you. And I love that <laughs> Alchemist took him under his wing. It, it's a match made in heaven. I love it. Everything they're doing, I love it. Keep it going. Yes. Uh, Keep it going until, I, I until have, you I, I hit ordered me this. Up. It's, it should be. Uh, it should be in this week. I ordered the vinyl uh, for it. For the covers. Of course you did. But this is. Oh, did uh, you ever find out about um, ordering the vinyl for? We'll get to that one. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, this is uh I love this project too. This is this is a heat project. Benny everywhere. I see you, Benny. I see you right here. Everywhere. Eating. Everywhere. Yo, tell me Evidence didn't fucking lose his mind. Evidence just slept on, guys. <laughs> Super slept on. And he, he makes better beats than mind. you. <laughs> Facts. But um <laughs> yeah, Vince Staples also rapped, but not a lot on this project. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah. He didn't rap the way he did for Royce, but he rapped. All right. And I liked Vince it wasn't Staples. That, it wasn't man. that pressure. It wasn't that Vince Staples? I fucking used. I can't, dude, when Vince Staples first came out, I was like, "It's the best new, new nigga out." Blah blah blah. He came out with the double EP. I'm like, "It's the best shit ever." And then after that, it was like, "What's he doing?" He's too busy, like trying to help his like to get his white area. girls. Yeah, well, duh. Festival music, Festival baby. music, facts. So then, next project. Me and M. Me and M dropped Sonic. the project. Garbage. <laughs> Gap. Yeah. Trash. Throw it away. <laughs> Throw this shit Do in. Do you away. even Keanu <laughs> So we dropped John Wick. This was uh, a little a little flex, man. Me, I wanted to show people that I actually still can rap. And, I'm and not I wanted to show people that I didn't make skin. trash beats. And that's it. And we were like, hey, let's put out a little, little something a little nice, something quick. Let's have a good time with it. And I just wrote my ass off. I was like, I'm not going to sing on no hooks. I'm not going to get weird. Simple stuff. Let me rap. The fact that you didn't have any hooks, let me just say, I, you know, everybody knows I, I love hooks. hooks. I love I hooks. I know. Them. I know. <laughs> but it was just 16. You had like a break to breathe for a little bit. Yeah. And then I sent you right back into battle. Oh, I yeah. was not fucking. That's it. And it was, and it felt good. And um, we got it reviewed by my man Chuck Brown. He hated on it. <laughs> he was wrong. He gave me the same rating I gave him. He's yeah. wrong. He was wrong. Wrong. <laughs> he said, you know what, I, what I didn't get, though, what, which I was like, all right, the beginning of it, I'm rap rapping. You know, Bobby Yaga. You're rap. Wait, no, 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 no. No, no, but well, let, let's just say, I'm, I'm, to clarify, I'm rapping. Like, I'm saying some real shit, but I'm angry. Oh. Let's say I'm angry rapping. Now, which towards I, the which end, I love, which was a good time, felt good. I was talking my woke shit. I say some spicy things, but that's just how I feel. If you ever spoke to me, I've said things in this context to you before, so it's nothing yeah. crazy. But it's me. But then towards the end, where he started to not like it, I was rapping about real shit that I was going through, mental health shit, a lot of shit, like real shit. And he called it nerd rap. I'm like, what? Yeah, okay, okay. How did he call? Okay, I'm thinking I'm back. How would he say that's nerd rap? Moment of silence for stupid, ignorant, woke fools. I hope life chokes you. How? What is? What is nerd about that at all? That and, first line. Or what's Hold nerd on, about wait. like joking on people, laughing at people, he, joking about suicide? He liked Baba Yaga, where you would, where I would argue, we're strangling the beat a little. <laughs> I was, I wasn't letting the beat breathe. Were, but the, but then he said you were strangling the beat in the slower songs. How? What is, strang- what is strangling the beat mean? He means he was it rapping means- too much. Too I was wordy. expanding. I was like, that's what blah, 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 that's blah, what blah, blah, th- that's what dumbasses say when they can't understand something. Yeah, but like if like <laughs> I I've listened to the project multiple no times. It's, it's he's he's John is rapping, and I'm doing like, different. Like, like, and I never keep the same flow. I'm switching flows. I'm jumping out of different things, and I'm like, I'm choking the beat. I'm like, how? I'm letting the beat breathe most of the time, and then I'll jump in. <laughs> With like if he said you were choking the beat in the first song, I'd have been like, ah. I mean, I guess you could say if that's how you feel. Yeah. But then on the other, it's like on the other tracks, no. I was no, letting him breathe. No, I, like he, you, you have to let it. Like you have like, to Bobby let. Bobby Yaga has no breaks because no, I was no. choking the beat. He said no, but like when John recited this song to me before it was even recorded, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that was the mood I was in. I was like, yo, <laughs> so I want to say some that, shit. And I, so that that I was a little confused with, and then I was like, and like I'd listen to him. He's like a he's like a wordy dude too. He's like a flow heavy dude. So I'm like, all right, I thought he'd appreciate some flow. But the thing is that the whole nerd thing, this is the most held back I've been on some nerd you, shit. You, I feel like the only reference, like you made a Johnny Cage reference. Yep. 
made a Goku reference. Yep. But that wasn't even like a nerd thing. That was just the no, real life statement. Like, 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 Dragon Ball Z is not even nerdy anymore. No, bro. not even. Well, like, I don't feel, I feel like you didn't rap about. Yeah, I didn't do, I no. didn't, I, ju- I dropped like one or two nerd. comic bars that were like hidden in there. But no, I was but like, like yeah. there's, there's like, I had people listening to this project that don't listen to rap usually. And they're like, oh, wow, I understand. Like, I get it. I hear yeah. it. Like, oh, wow. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. So fuck that guy. Yeah, man. He made me think of like, I was like, damn, yo, he made me really feel like I'm like, I had to re-listen to it. Cause I was like, did I really do some like, you know, team backpack shit where no. I'm just like wordy, wordy, wordy. Oh. So no, he's... Like, but you know, I, like sometimes I jumped into it, like the the hate transmitted to blood, you know, trolling, oh twinted a magma spit it. <laughs> but like that was just the beginning part. It was fun, but then I slowed it down right after, because that was the point. But you know, you can't please everybody. But I'll take it. We got a six. It's getting really good. Lo- <laughs> this fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> People are just gonna see this pop up a billion times during the fucking episode. Yeah, it's so but, funny. But um, yeah, like. You know, we we put it's, together a nice body of work. I did this quick because I wanted to put together something in like a short period of time just to show it, that I can do it. We did it in two weeks, guys. Yeah, and like it was like, yo, that's how I wanted to do it. I was like, let's let's cook, let's put something together, and then let, let's get my boy. Yo, oh, but- oh yeah, but anyways, I gotta plug my man in, my boy Grant Valentine. Grant Woods, if y'all want to hit up somebody for some good mixing and mastering, he will do it. He has good prices. Hit us up. I actually got that, his numbers and that all man that stuff. A, he's a magician. He did his thing because he's all of wizard. these were super like skeleton stuff. He added all the effects, all that stuff. A lot of it he did on his own. A lot of it was me telling him. He did his thing. So if you're looking yep. for it, he's the guy. Uh, but yeah, go stream John Wick on all streaming platforms, guys. Still and had a good us, first weekend. Us- yeah, did we really? Yeah, we got we we got the numbers came in today via email, and I was like, "This looks good, this looks nice." But um, yeah, man, yeah, people, check it out. Let us know what you think. If if I'm choking the beat, or I'm talking nerd shit, because suicide and mental health is nerd shit, and yeah. we're talking nerds. and talking about racism. And, uh, and... Yeah, volume two and maybe three will be coming, and they will be better than this one. Just know that we are on your next for the rest of this year yeah i mean i'm out here man i'm I'm working and he's working so we got we got some shit we might get walk on one of those though <laughs> i don't know man I, i'm i'm already we're already calling one of the floridians why not call the, both of them facts they got us by, on some by <laughs> dude that, yo that, bro that, yeah. So. Oh yeah. Then we got um. Then we had some more uh, you know stuff from my man's my man's self savior. We post in the clips. You know how we do. Then I had two single reviews, and um the first one was uh, they're both by the same artist. This dude Life L I F E. And um the first was the year the year out uh, freestyle. What was it called? The year year in year out freestyle. Nice. Very quick. It was like a solid like twenty four bars. Smooth shit. It was nice. He can rap. Very 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 smooth. Solid. I wasn't mad at it at all. Single was dope. Send them, man. Send us. We do single reviews now, ladies and gentlemen. Hit us up. If you sent us something to re- be reviewed, I will direct you to our email. If you sent us an email, you'll get a kickback. Please read it and then hit us back. So um, then he gave us another single. This was, uh, I forgot the name of this. This is like before something, but it was with um, this dude, Bruce, and it had Shea Noir on it. What up, Shea Butter, Shea Butter Queen. What up, girl? What up? What up? <laughs> But um, this was this 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 was also this was fire. That last one was smooth. This one was very fire. We got all the links and stuff in our descriptions and whatnot. But it was very fire. I was enjoying myself. There was raps. She came to eat food. A dude always ate his food. She came to eat, and I'm always. here for it. But um, everyone ate. Life did his thing. He's smooth. I'm, I'm I like it. I like his stuff. But I feel like he's stuck in single world. So let's hear him. Let's hear you put out a project. But she. She Not everybody can Bruce do that, though, food. Johnny. We'll see, though. You never know. Nah, we do know, but, you know, that's how it is. But um, that's pretty much all I got, man. That's all we got for the week. That was our solid thing. We're going back to schedule tomorrow. I got to do all the regular stuff. But, um, yeah, man, that's it. Go stream John Wick. Let me and M know what you think. I'm going to be posting a lot of fun clips and shit for it that hopefully don't get taken down. The first one didn't, so. I feel like, good. I don't know, man. That's why I'm kind of just using gifs i wanted to use gifs but i'm like fuck it people like action let's get people let's show people getting shot if it gets taken down it gets taken down that big wick energy one that i post is wild though right with all the extra effects 
It's I'm fucking was... wild. <laughs> <laughs> just the wall blowing up and like the camera getting sprayed. I was like, this is the best shit ever. Uh, but yeah, I feel like we did a good job. So let us know. Cheers. Let us know. Let us know if it's and if it's whack. Let us know if it's whack. Fuck it. Like, talk I'll still shit to you. I, yeah, fact. I will. I will talk shit to you back. Yeah. And if you're a rapper and you think it's whack, show me that you can write with me. <laughs> Please. That's it. I'm, you know. Watch it. Show, yeah. Show me that you can write with me. Then sure. Get all the respect in the world, bro. I'm here yeah. For I wish it. he would have. I wish he would have talked this shit, and then he would have responded with something, and then it would have you know started a war. But you I know, mean, people... he gave me. He gave me a six. I'll take it. No, nah, you need to smoke him for that. Six. I'm upset about the six, but that's all right. <laughs> I'm fuming. About I'm not the doing. Six. I'm not doing too great on the platform. <laughs> nah, bro. I, I got. got, two no. green, I, got I got two. I got two green. Charts. I got two green. I got three green and one red stamp. I got two, so thank God. But they're like they're like okay greens. I want a good green. We're, this is crazy that we're getting beat up by our own platform. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny but it shows that we're here we're real for it you know we're, we're all about it the next one i'm dropping is going to be my less boom bap and i'm going to give it to x-band because i know he loves boom bap so i'd like to see what oh he's on. no so i'm gonna get rested <laughs> but that's fine because i want his non boom bap ears to hear it and that's it i mean his boom bap ears to hear my non boom bap sounds and i'm that's it like i'm here for it but um yeah, yeah. i just make i just uh yeah just make beats guys <laughs> <laughs> but hit him up he makes beats i make beats too but i'm not as public and I uh, rap yeah yeah I rap no them. i've just been digging guys so hit me up you've just been digging guys nice mm. digging in their asses <laughs> coronavirus sorry guys I'm nice he loves it that's his second coronavirus <laughs> <drop>. <laughs> but all right fellas all right bro